So Ben 10 Omnivus ended in 2014. What goes next for the franchise? Maybe a new series featuring adult Ben, Ben 10K. Maybe a spin-off focusing on Gwen or something. No, instead what the franchise decided to do was to do a full-on reboot with the original creator's Man of Action back at the helm. Now, this first season of the reboot is an absolute mess. Everything from the animation being all wonky to the character writing being inconsistent to there being very clearly being some holdovers from the original series. This reigns even more true for the game we're going to talk about today because there are a lot of issues with this game that felt like this game was being made so early in production they didn't have finalised ideas for the series. But to do that we should get into the game. So let's start with the plot. The plot of the game is as simple as it's just a six episode mini arc of the, of the reboot. It starts with some balls are draining the energy out of the town, then Goss beats the shit out of him, then he has to stop Queen Bee who's decided to kidnap people for her own amusement to make them sit and watch her show even if they fucking hate it. Once Ben beats her, then he has to go stop the Weatherheads as they are attempting to destroy the world once again. This plot's very simple and feels like it came from the reboot, but it also feels like it's just like a six episode mini arc that they may have wanted to do in the reboot but decided, eh, we'll do it for the game. Now when it comes to the character writing, well I think Ben is fairly on character. Grandpa Max is kind of a hit and miss because he barely shows up, then again I guess that is pretty accurate to the reboot. But Gwen is interesting because she's written as if she's from the original series a lot of the time. You know, poking fun at Ben, making fun of him, that kind of stuff that Reboot Gwen doesn't really do. As for the villains, they are written as if they were the villains from the Reboot, I'll give them that. Although the villains they chose could have been a little better. Like sure, Zombos is a classic, whatever. But Queen Bee is just not a threat. There's a reason why the reboot kind of just dumped her after a season. Like, I think she appears like twice after season one. Mm -hmm. And then the Weatherheads, it's contradictory because in season four of the reboot we learn about uh, the manager, Sunny. But here we see Weatherhead Prime. But Weatherhead Prime is meant to be canon, so I don't know what's going on. As for how the game plays, because this is a game after all, the gameplay is... There's no other way of saying it, the gameplay is just Protector of Earth again. Which, since Omniverse managed to fuck up and so did Alien Force, I should be saying this game fucked up too, right? I don't think it did. While the levels are long, so no I saw like a free pass on that, it does allow you to play as 10 aliens at once, all 10 from the first season of the reboot. Each alien does have a unique quality to them, and while some aliens like Upgrade and Accelerate are never needed to finish the game, that's fine because they give you all the aliens like in a set order. You start with three, then you get two, then two, then one, then one, and then none in the final level. The game doesn't explain why all the aliens are locked away in this whole ultimate mechanic, which just feels like them poking fun at Ben's and Ultimate Alien more than anything. But, you know, it's it's fine as a screen nuke. For beat em up for kids, screen nukes pretty acceptable. Now playing this on Switch, there is this weird thing where I can't use my pro controller. I don't know what it is, but I can't. And honestly, that's all I've got to say about this game. The game's only about three hours long, in fact I was able to get through it all in one stream while Ruby was there. But yeah, that's it. So I guess join me next time for when we take a look at uh, Ben 10 Power Trip, the better of the two reboot games. Until then, take care. Bye!